Yom Kippur. Antes de Yom Kippur. What? What about Abraham's wife? ¿Qué tal la de Abraham? Why can't I remember Jacob's wife? ¿Por qué no de las de Jacob? Why specifically Lot's wife? ¿Por qué de la de Jacob? Because she had the chance to live in redemption. Ya tuvo la de vivir en and salvation. Y en, uh, but she was so busy looking back. Pero estaba tan ocupada viendo hacia atrás that she could not move forward. Que no pudo avanzar. Remember to stop looking back. Oh, Acuérdense de dejar viendo hacia atrás. Yesterday is in the tomb. Ayer está en la tumba. Our hope is in the womb. Nuestra Tomorrow tumba. is in the womb. Esperanza oh, está en, en el vientre. You ever notice that people that live in the past are the ones who commit suicide? ¿Se acuerdan? Are the ones who are depressed? Are the ones who are despondent? They can't forgive themselves. Forget about forgiving their parents or their children or others. They can't forgive themselves, which is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit because the blood of Yeshua has forgiven you by George, not by George, by Messiah. Forgive yourself. People who live in the past. Uh, las personas que tienden a cometer el suicidio porque más que nada son personas que no solamente no perdonan a otros en el pasado, pero muchas veces no se perdonan a sí mismos y eso en sí, el no perdonarse a uno mismo es blasfemia en contra de, de la rúa y en contra de lo que ya ha hecho Yahshua por nosotros I spoke to a person this week yo le hablé a una persona esta semana I won't name any names. no nombraré nombres And They said to me, y me dijeron, oh, I forgive. Perdono, Please forgive me. Perdóname. And the very next day. Perdóname y al próximo yom. It wasn't a week later or a month later. It was the very next day. No era al próximo yo, uh, próximo mes ni una semana después, pero al próximo yom, al próximo día. I get a message. Recibo un mensaje. Rehashing. Repitiendo. And going over the past. Pa repasando el pasado. And I said to this person, y le dije a esta persona, you said you forgive. Usted dice que perdona. And everything from the past came up. Todo lo del pasado vino otra vez. Remember Acuérdense Lot's wife. De la esposa de Lot. Amen. If we remember Lot's wife, si nos acordamos de la esposa de Lot, we'll remember the penalty. Nos acordaremos de la pena of claiming to forgive and move forward. De reclamar haber perdonado y avanzar. But our actions Pero nuestras acciones betray us. Nos traicionan. Remember Lot's wife. Acuérdense de la esposa de Lot. Blow the shofar for Lot's wife. Sonen el shofar por la esposa de Lot. And said the bracha hamotzi. Tomó el matza y dijo la bracha hamotzi. Baruch ata Yahua Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. He took. He said the bracha. Dijo la bracha. Broke the matza. Quebrantó el matza. Gave to the talmidim. Le compartió a los talmidim. He said, "This is my body." Dijo, "Este es mi cuerpo." Given for you. Dado por ustedes. Do this Hagan esto. to remember me. Acordándose de mí. Amen. We take the body of Yeshua, Tomamos el cuerpo de Yeshua to remember his holy Kadosh blood para atonement de su dam, de su Kadosh por and his broken body for us. Y su por Luke 24 6. Luca 24, 6. Luca 24 6. Yes, please sound the show. We're, we're so enamored with the blood of Yeshua, we forgot to sound it. Remember his blood and body. Luca 24.6. 
24.6 Remember brethren He is not in the tomb Remember Israel He has risen as he said While he was teaching us in Galil Remember Our master's resurrection Blow the shofar Remember the resurrection Of Yeshua Hashem And they remembered his word. Let us blow the shofar. As every Shabbat and every time we get together, we remember his teachings. We remember his words. We keep coming back for more. What he said and what he did. When we're focused on his words, what he said and what he did, we won't wind up in the trap of any religion asking them what he said and what he did. We'll read it. What he said and what he did, we'll read it for ourselves. Cuando nos acordamos de sus palabras, no tenemos que dejar que nadie más nos diga algo diferente. Hey, leeremos por nosotros whoa. mismos. Blow the shofar. Suena el shofar. For his word. Por sus palabras. Thy word was found the night that he died. Hallelujah. from the mouth of Yahuwah. Doth, doth man live? Remember his resurrection. Remember his teaching. Remember his, his, his body. Remember his blood. Yohanan 14.26 Remember the Comforter. Acuérdense del consolador, de la consoladora. Who is the Ruach Hakodesh? Quien es la Ruach Hakodesh. Whom Abba has sent in my name. Quien Abba ha enviado en mi nombre. He will teach you all things. Ella les enseñará todas las cosas. And bring all my words. Y traerá todas mis palabras. Back to your remembrance. De nuevo a que las recuerden. One of the signs that someone is filled with the Ruach. Una de las señales de que alguien está lleno de la Ruach. Is that they remember very little. Es que se acuerdan muy poquito. But they don't forget the word. A person who has a hard time remembering the word, here comes a little condemnation and it's not meant that way. It's a sign that you need more of the Ruach. Benjamin, can I pick on you? No, just say yes. Yes, you may. If I can't, just rebuke me at dinner. Yeah, forget it. Okay. Tov. <laughs> Thank you. He forgets a few things. Because <laughs> he's not 18 anymore. <laughs> But you know one thing this man never forgets? <laughs> The word of God. He could be 99 years old. <laughs> and he will know the word of Yahweh. See, that's a sign that the Ruach, he's forgetting some things, but is bringing to his remembrance everything Yeshua taught him. People don't talk about that. When you know the word by heart, that's one of the signs that you're full of the Ruach, the Comforter, the Ruach HaKadosh. Think about that. Think about that. If you don't know the word, whether it's lack of study or whatever, that means that the, you need more of the comfort. Blow the shofar because the comforter has come to bring us to remembrance. Two years ago. 
Cuando primero fui redimida hace 32 años. 31, October of 1984. 31, de 1984. My mentor. Mi mentor. Pastor Howard Corno. El pastor Howard Corno. I was so hungry for the word. Tenía tanta hambre por la that palabra. I, I would drive two hours every week. Que yo manejaba dos shows, dos horas cada semana. From Queens to Brooklyn. De Queens a Brooklyn. And spend the afternoon at his house. Y pasaba la tarde en su casa. Maybe sometime we'd have dinner. Quizás a veces cenábamos. And one thing he taught me. Y una cosa que él me enseñó. Was, are you memorizing scripture? Era, te estás acordando, te estás grabando las escrituras. So he had me make an index card. Él hacía que yo escribiera tarjetas de índice. Of every scripture to memorize. De toda escritura para acordarme. That was the, before the days of internet. Eso fue antes de los tiempos de internet. Who needs to memorize scripture today when you can look, go, go online and look up a word? ¿Quién necesita acordarse de la escritura cuando uno puede ir en línea y buscar cada Memorizing cosa? scripture today is a lost art. El recordarse de la escritura hoy es un arte que se está perdiendo. It's a lost art. Un arte que se está perdiendo. And after about three or four years, I had index cards this thick. Y después de tres o cuatro años tenía tarjetas de índice así de gruesas. May I recommend you do the same? Les recomiendo que hagan lo mismo. You'll need to shut off the computer and the phone. Necesitan apagar la el ordenador y el teléfono. And start making index cards. Y comenzar a hacer tarjetas de índice. And every week, or you you memorize two new scriptures. Y cada semana se recuerda se graba uno dos escrituras nuevas. You'll be shocked. And the ruach will come because the more word you have, the more the ruach honors the word that's in you, and that increases the ruach. And as the ruach comes, more bondages break. It's a beautiful cycle. It's a beautiful picture. Así como uno va grabando se más escritura, va entrando más de la ruach y más de esas cadenas se van rompiendo. Es una cosa preciosa. I'm gonna say I can say something, but I'm not going to. Podría decir algo. I'm going. Yes, I'm going to. Sí, lo voy a decir. No, I'm not going to. Yes, I'm going to. Sí, lo voy a hacer. Memorizing the word is not finding a JPEG. El acordarse de la palabra no es encontrar un JPEG. And sending it out to everybody on your Facebook list. Y enviársela a todos en su página de Facebook. That's not spending time in the word. Eso no es pasar tiempo. Somebody creates a JPEG and you send it, you share it on your Facebook page. Si alguien va a crear un JPEG y lo enviar. That's not how preachers used to be raised up. Así no es como los predicadores eran levantados. They would take those index cards or whatever and close out all noise and memorize the word. Tomaban esas tarjetas de índice, cerraban todo el ruido, se apagaba todo el ruido. It's never too late. Grababan la palabra y nunca es tarde. To start that discipline. Para comenzar esa, esa corrección. Say, I know where that is. I know where to find that. Go to Yohanan 15.20. Wow, this is beautiful. I didn't arrange it this way, but the Ruach did. Look at this. Yohanan 15.20. As Yahuwah lives, I did not arrange it this way. Look, Look at Yohanan 15.20. Remember the word. Is that awesome? That I said to you. Que yo les he dicho, the Eved, you guys, are not greater than his master, me. El no es mayor que su if they persecute me for my teachings, si me a mí por mis they will persecute you if you guard my words, my teachings. A si mis if they guard my teachings, si mis they will guard your words. Sus Blow the shofar. Because the word of Yahuwah, Yahuwah is to be remembered. Se tiene que Baruch Hashem. <laughs> These things I have told you so that when they, the time will come, Estas cosas se las digo para que venga el tiempo, you may remember the words that I told you. Se de las que les he dicho. I didn't tell you before because I was still with you. No, les dije antes so we blow the shofar to remember Así que el shofar para the times that are ahead. De los tiempos que están al al frente, the great tribulation la gran and bloodletting 
y el derramar de la of those who love Yeshua and keep his commandments. There is a great bloodletting coming saints. You need to get ready. You need to be sure that that doesn't catch you off guard. As ISIL spreads its ugly head. Remember Yeshua warned us of things yet to come. Blow the shofar. Okay, I found it. Sorry. Acts. Well, no, I didn't find it. That was 1126. Hmm. That's right. This is Acts 2029. It was 2029. See, I'm not infallible. I heard a politician say the other day when speaking of the um, Bishop of Rome. This is pick on the Bishop of Rome week. I heard, uh, I heard, I heard, I heard somebody say the other day. You talk about, you, you know what politically correct is, right? The, the political answers that are, that are, that are what they're supposed to say rather than what's true, right? So, so this guy is running for president. And they said to him, Governor, how come your positions disagree and contradict the Pope? You support the Pope, you welcome the Pope, blah, 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 but all your political positions are contradicting. Usted apoya al Papa, recibe al Papa, pero todas sus, uh, sus posiciones están contradiciendo al Papa. This was one of the greatest politically correct, and very few people saw it because he's one of the lower tier candidates. Esta es una de las uh, cosas más políticamente correctas uh, y casi nadie lo vio porque es uno de esos candidatos uh, que está en menos rango. And he said, when it comes to spiritual matters, y dijo, cuando se trata de cuestiones espirituales, the, the Pope is infallible. El Papa es infalible. But not in political matters. Pero no en cuestiones políticas. <laughs> Whoa, dude, if he's Christ on earth, if he's the vicar of Christ, si él es el, el Cristo en la tierra, si es and el, he's infallible, el, el representante de Cristo y es infalible. It can't be limited to spiritual things. It has to include all things political. No right. se puede limitar a cosas uh, What a an answer. What a, what a beautiful answer. Tiene que incluir yeah. cosas políticas, pero qué respuesta tan preciosa. That's how he explained how he disagreed with the Pope, even así, though the Pope is infallible. Así es como él explicó que uh, él, él, él está en desacuerdo con el Papa, aunque el Papa es infalible alegadamente. In political matters, he's not infallible, only in religious matters. Dijo, en cuestiones, uh, that was pretty clever. Él no es infalible, solo en cuestiones religiosas. I thought that was pretty clever. Pensé que eso fue muy astuto. I give him credit. Acts chapter 20, Hechos, capítulo 20, verse 29. Now this is sad. I, I, can we talk? Podemos hablar. I have read this. Yo he leído esto many years ago. Muchos años atrás. And there were times when I was first reading this. Y había tiempos que cuando al principio leía esto. That I wept. Lloré. 
in, 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 in anguish. En angustia. And, and this is one of the saddest parts of the Devar Yahuwah. Este es una de las partes más tristes de la palabra de Yahuwah. See if this sounds familiar for today. Vean si esto suena familiar para hoy. Acts 20, 29. Hechos 20, 29. And I have shed tears over this. Y yo he derramado lágrimas por causa de este And I continue to do it, but, but it's not as intense because I'm more familiar with, this, with the passage. Y continúo haciéndolo, pero ya no es tan intenso porque ya me he familiarizado más con este pasaje. For I know this. That after Shalia Shaul says, after I die and go to be with Yahuwah. Or I move on to another city. Grievous wolves. Will enter in among you. They will not spare this flock. Que no perdonarán al rebaño. And from among you, y de entre ustedes, among your own selves, entre ustedes mismos, men will arise, se levantarán hombres, speaking perverted things against you, hablando cosas perversas en contra de ustedes, to draw away students or tamidim to follow themselves. Para arrastrar a los tamidim a que los sigan a ellos. Therefore, watch. Por lo tanto, estén observando. And remember for three years. Y acuérdense que por tres años. I cease not to warn every one of you. No dejé de amonestar y advertir a cada uno de ustedes. Night and day. Yom y Laila y Yom. And so these wolves. Y entonces estos lobos. Want to take you away from following the one master Yeshua. Quieren quitarlo a ustedes de seguir al único maestro Yeshua. To follow them. Now go back to verse 28. Remember yourselves. Watch the flock. Watch your, your own life and the flock's life. He tells the elders at Ephesus. On the shore. Over which the Ruach has made you an overseer. So they, well, nobody's, I, nobody's, I'm not going to come under any man. Well, Shaul says the Ruach, Shaul dice la Ruach has set overseers ha puesto, um, personas que cuiden over you. Por ustedes. You may throw them off. Quizás ustedes los desechen. You may get rid of them. Quizás ustedes se deshagan you de may ellos. hate them and curse them. Quizás los odien y los maldigan. But make no mistake. Pero no cometan el error. The Ruach puts man la Ruach pone al hombre in overseeing positions. Para supervisar. En Not lording it, but overseeing. En, en posición de supervisión. To feed the congregation of Israel. Para darle de comer a la congregación de Israel. In Yahuwah. En Yahuwah. Which Yahuwah has purchased with his own dam. Well, I don't believe I don't believe Yeshua is Yahuwah. Let's read that again. Yahshua purchased the congregation as Yahuwah with Yahuwah's Blood. I didn't, I didn't know Yahuwah had blood. Yahuwah the Father has no blood. Here we have a Yahuwah who bled for the congregation. Hello? Hello? Here we have a Yahuwah who bled for the congregation. Remember the Yahuwah who bled for the congregation. Remember not everyone's a crook and a charlatan. There are some overseers. They really want to help people. And remember, remember, remember to have your antennas up. I believe it's here in verse 28. Remember to take heed and be on guard de tomar, poner atención y estar observando, for the man within and without, para los, viendo a los hombres dentro y afuera, that are constantly after you, que están constantemente persiguiéndole, to deny Yeshua, que nieguen a Yeshua, and his blood, y su, su, dam, su sangre, let us remember, acordémonos, that warning, de esa advertencia, blow the show bar,
said 20 and verse 35. I have shown you in all things. How by working hard. You must not only support the poor, but support the weak. And remember the words of the Master Yahushua. How he taught us. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Remember the principle. It is more always more blessed to give than to receive. Remember it. Acuérdense de ello. Believe it. Créanlo. Take it to heart. Tómenlo de corazón. It is more blessed to give what es you have más para dar lo que uno tiene than always waiting to receive. Que siempre esperar a recibir. Let us blow the shofar. <laughs> The early days when you were a baby in Yeshua. After you were first immersed in Mikra. You endured great fighting. And great suffering. When people could say you were stupid. You were not. You were a religious fanatic. Lose my number. Don't call me anymore. Don't talk about it anymore. Remember the old days when you first came to faith and received mikvah. You were happy to endure persecution for the faith that saved your soul. Remember how you endured smiling. Como resistieron con sonrisa. When you came to the realization that you were now his child and not his enemy. Cuando llegaron a la realización que eran sus hijos y no sus enemigos. And now you complain. Y hoy se quejan. And are discouraged. Y están desanimados. And one single stupid post on Facebook. Y una cosa dicha en Facebook, tontamente. Or Twitter. O en Twitter. Is enough to upset you. Es suficiente para disgustarlo. For a whole month. Yes. Remember the former days. Hebrews 10.32. Remember the, remember the former days. When you didn't mind being persecuted. Because no servant is greater than his master. If they called him a sexual deviant and a drunk and a devil. When they call you a sexual deviant. Who breaks up people's families and marriages and a devil and a liar rejoice for great is your reward in heaven for so they persecuted the prophets who have gone before you remember the days when tribulation which send us into thanksgiving. Today, it sends us into depression. Nobody. Nobody, even if you're married to them, can push you away from Yeshua. Well, he's this, and he won't stop, and she won't stop, and I can't live this way. Remember something. Remember! Acuérdense, no one que nadie, except yourself más que usted mismo, can push you away lo puede alejar from Yeshua. Yeshua. Amen, amen. Aruch Hashem. Blow the shofar. <laughs> Teach.
teaching. My family has been destroyed. Because my husband started reading your stuff. And you put ideas into his head. And now we're going to divorce court. So you know my response before Yahuwah is? You, you, you can't answer that stupidity. So my answer before Yahuwah. If, if anything I write or say or, or put in a book can destroy your marriage of 20 years. Your marriage was cracked from the beginning. Because there's no book that any man could write, whether they're a Leninist, a Marxist, or a Communist, that can destroy what Yahoo has given me. It's amazing what people say. And they believe it. But that's okay. I'm not greater than my master. Yo no soy mayor que mi maestro. No. If they called him Beelzebub, si lo a él Beelzebub the master of, of the house of Israel, el maestro de la casa de Israel, what on earth will they call me behind my back? Que me dirá, que dirá Hypocrite. Doesn't care. Aloof. I know. Trust me. I mean, I listen to all those things. And Ralph shows me everything. Hebrews 13. Hebrews 13. Last person called me aloof, you know what I tell him? I said, really? Well, how many pastors do you know that sit down with their congregation and break bread? After the service, they're in the Cadillac, and they're driving home counting the offering. I hang out with my people. I hang out with my flock. I enjoy that. Not out of duty, but out of enjoyment. ¿A cuántas personas conoce usted? Le dije a una persona que me dijo que soy una persona distraída o no, no enfocada en las cosas de Yahweh, y le dije... ¿Cuántos pastores conoce usted que se sienta a comer con su rebaño que en lugar de irse acabándose el servicio se sienta a comer con su, su rebaño? Hebreos 13. Hebreos 13. Verse 4. 4. But that's okay. That's a good reminder for me. We, did, we blew the show far, yes? Yes, That's four. a good reminder. I endured affliction uh, 31 years ago eh, with, with a good attitude. Keep that good attitude. Don't get a bad attitude just because you're tired of affliction. Keep a good attitude. That's a good reminder. Es That's a good reminder. Que, que si uno ha persistido 31 años, puede seguir haciéndolo. A pesar and then de someone might say, but you don't understand. I have problems in persecution in my own house. There are people in my own house and my own family that don't talk to me, that don't like me, that don't... Uh, no, hold it now. Go ahead. Translate. Hay gente que me dice, pero usted no entiende. Yo tengo persecución en mi propia familia. Yo tengo personas que no me quieren, no, no, no les... Uh, And that hurts. No, no me aprecian y when, eso duele. When your own family, people in your own house don't get along with Cuando you. personas en su propia casa no se llevan todo con uno. And then, even there, Yeshua wants us to re remember. Y aún ahí, Yeshua quiere que nos acordemos. Psalm 40, verse 9. De Tehillim 40, verso 9. Or is it 41? He that did eat of my bread, yes, my familiar friend from my own table, he is the one who has lifted up his heel against me. Aquel que comía de mi propio legeme, en mi propia mesa, aquel que era mi amigo, levantó su talón en contra de mí. Remember, Acuérdense. Yeshua's ultimate betrayal El, la de Yeshua came from within his house vino de dentro de su casa, at his own dinner table en su propia mesa, before you keep complaining. Antes de Hebrews 13, Hebrews 13 verse, 4. verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all situations. El casamiento es estimable en todas las situaciones. And the marriage bed is undefiled. Y la cama de casamiento no está contaminada. On the contrary, the whoremongers and adulterers. Al contrario, los fornicarios y los adultos. Yahweh will judge. Yahweh los juzgará. I said Yahweh will judge. Yahweh oh, los juzgará. Let us remember. Acordémonos. 
those who are persecuted que son for living righteously. Por vivir As monogamous, Como heterosexual monogamous, as consenting adults Como, uh, adultos que consienten, and heterosexual polygynists as consenting adults Como adultos co de, que dan su for their marriage bed su cama de is undefiled. No está Remember that. De ello. Isn't it interesting? Que no es where, where do I see remember? Donde veo la All right, relax, just relax. Just relax. Now go back to verse 3. Vamos al verso 3. Ephraim 13, 3. Hebreos 13, 3. Remember the righteous ones. De los Not the child molesters, but remember the justos, righteous ones los justos, los, los that are in prison. Que están en la As being in prison with them. Como si en con ellos. When every day take a few minutes and, and, and meditate on those that are behind bars who are your brothers and sisters who suffer adversity because you also are human as they are. They might wind up falsely accused as some of them. So when they go to prison, remember them. Entonces, cuando vayan a prisión, acuérdense de ellos. But why would he put marriage in there with prison? ¿Para qué poner el casamiento ahí con la prisión? Why are you laughing? ¿Qué se ríe usted? I know that's funny. I didn't even plan that to be funny. That's funny. I didn't even plan it that way. Remember those in prison, including those in prisons of their marriage. No, acuérdense de Only kidding. I did not mean it that way. Prisión. But, but marriage, in other words, here's what I'm saying. If we're to remember righteous prisoners, there were people who were in prison because of marriage. As Yahuwah lives, this is the context. You can't make this stuff up. You won't hear a preacher on this side of the Mississippi teach this. No, someone who's a, a baby believer will hear what I just said and say I'm bashing Christians. Did you hear me just bash Christians? No. All I said is there's not a pastor who knows this on this side of the Mississippi. Not bashing Christians. ¿Conocen ustedes de algún pastor que enseñe de, de esta manera? The prisoners Los prisioneros were in prison estaban en la prisión because of marriage. por causa del casamiento. The Romans Los romanos were putting believers in prison estaban poniendo a los creyentes en prisión because they had too many wives. Porque tenían demasiadas esposas. Or they were limiting marriage o estaban limitando el casamiento to monogamy a la monogamia. And the Romans were practicing homosexuality. Y los romanos estaban practicando homosexualidad. They were rainbow people. Eran gente del arco de color. That's the context. Ese es el contexto. I I dare anybody, I challenge anybody to twist this out of context. One second. People were putting put in prison for the marriage that was kadosh and honorable and they were being imprisoned. Does that sound familiar? Do you know any righteous men and women, Bible believers, who have more than one wife, who are thrown into jail for 20 years? Do you know anybody like that? Have you ever heard of anybody like that? Liars, hypocrites. Vipers, how can you escape damnation, those who put such innocent people in jail? Think, just, just don't get angry at me. Think, think about this. Marriage is honorable. Monogamy is honorable. Polygyny is honorable. But remember some of our brothers and sisters in previous years and decades who have gone to jail and their families grew up without a father, without a husband, without a grandfather because of man's evil. 
We're going to blow the shofar Vamos and remember the them as well. Go ahead. Ellos, you wanted to say something. Uh, when, when, when that went to prison because of this cause, uno que fue a la prisión por causa de esto was Yohanan Hamadbil. When he was yes. correcting yes. A, a, an evil in marriage, when he was correcting a evil in marriage, that's He rebuked Herod Él a for having Philip's wife. Por tener la esposa de Felipe. Remember that? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? And he went to jail. Y fue a la cárcel. But I never saw this until recently. Pero nunca vi esto hasta recientemente. The folks are in prison for practicing. Honorable marriage. Now, today the United States Supreme Court has given gays their right to marry. They're free. They're free. No prison. No prison. You can sodomize any any consenting adult. Nobody goes to prison. They're free. Son libres. But who are not free? Pero no son I said, I asked you a question. Les pregunté, who is not free? ¿Quién no es libre? Who can still go to jail? ¿Quién puede, quién sí puede ir a la who can still have the threat of, of arrest? ¿Quién sí puede ser arrestado? Honorable people. Gente estimable. In honorable forms of marriage. En Such as polygyny. De casamiento, tal como la polygyny. Amos, this is the context. Amos, este es el context. This is not talking about people who rob a grocery store. Aquí no está de personas que roban una tienda de this, is not, this is not talking about people who hold up a bank. No está de personas que van y asaltan a un banco. People who are in jail for marriage. Hay gente que está en la cárcel por casa Go home and read it. And I challenge you to prove me wrong. Vaya a casa y léalo y le Blow the show for me pruebe que estoy And I don't want to go there today. I wrote a book about it and it got me in trouble. So I'm not going to go there today. If the marriage bed is undefiled, I mean heterosexual consenting adults, one man, one woman, or one man with several wives, who are not whoremongers or adulterers, what does it mean honorable? What, I'm sorry, what does it mean undefiled? Does that mean anything goes? Or does that mean Torah decides what goes on? Whereas, whereas the institution of marriage, biblical marriage, not traditional, not traditional, biblical, is undefiled. No haya sido this is something that continues to be debated. Esto es algo que continúa debatiéndose. When the scripture says marriage is undefiled. Cuando las escrituras dicen que casarse no es contaminado. Does that mean all forms of sex are permissible between consenting adults? Quiere eso decir que todas las formas de sexo son permitidas entre adultos que están que consienten? Or does that mean no? If Torah says something is unclean, it's unclean, but the institution of the bed is what's undefiled. O quiere eso decir que um, Torah decide lo que es limpio e inmundo so, y que la institución de casarse case, no ha sido you, contaminada. Work out your own salvation. Y en ese caso digo yo trabajo en su propia redención. With fear and trembling. Con temor y temblor. That's all I have to say to you. Es lo único que les tengo que decir. You, it's a funny thing in that area. Es algo interesante que en I'm esa very área. Liberal. Soy muy liberal. I'm extremely liberal. Soy muy liberal. I believe consenting adults in 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 the, in the holy institution, Yahuwah is that's me. I'm, but that doesn't mean I'm right. Yo creo que cualquier persona que desea con, que esté consintiendo y que uh, se apegue a las before. palabras de Yahuwah, um, pero he estado equivocado en, en algún there, en, en el tiempos pasados. There may be certain unhealthy practices that Torah forbids. Even within marriage, which is undefiled. 
que la Torah prohíbe aún dentro del casamiento, lo cual no es contaminado. Y Rim, ¿did we blow the shofar? We did, right? Yes. Y yes. Rim 13:7. Hebreos 13:7. I like this one. Esto me gusta. I think you'll understand why. Creo que entenderá por qué. Y Rim 13:7. Hebreos 13:7. Remember those who lead you. Acuérdense de aquellos quienes los lideran. Who have spoken the word of Yahuwah to you. Quienes les han hablado la palabra de Yahuwah. Whose outcome follow. Cuyo resultado, sigan su resultado. Imitate their mitzvot. Imiten sus obras. And their emunah. Y su creencia. Now watch, ver, watch verse 8. You hear Christians and Messianists quote verse 8 all the time. Y siempre oímos a los cristianos. Yeshua HaMashiach. Y a los creyentes citar el verso 8 todo el tiempo. Yeshua el Mashiach. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Gloria a Dios. Ayer, Gloria. Hoy y por los siglos. Para siempre. Forever. Yeshua is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeshua es el mismo ayer, hoy y para siempre. But isn't it interesting they leave out verse 7? Pero que no es interesante que dejan atrás el verso 7. As long there, as there is believing brothers and sisters, siempre cuando existan fraternos y fraternas creyentes, they will be given believing leaders to oversee them. Se les verán creyentes. Ah, you see how they leave that part out? Líderes para supervisarlos. Maybe they wouldn't quote verse 8 that quickly. Quizás no citarían el verso 7. Maybe they wouldn't rápido, quote verse 8 that quickly. Si citaran el verso 7 con él. If they knew the context. Si conocieran el Meaning as long as you're on the earth, Yahweh will assign overseers to us. Quiere decir que mientras que uno esté en la tierra, Yahweh Why? Asignará He's the same yesterday, supervisores para today and forever. Porque él es oh, el mismo man. ayer, hoy y por siempre. Isn't that interesting? ¿No es eso interesante? That, that as long as we're on the earth, que siempre y cuando sigamos en la He tierra, doesn't change. Él no cambia. And he will give us, hopefully, righteous leaders. Y nos dará, esperamos, líderes sadiques. Or his job is not to boss you around, but to teach you the word. Cuyo trabajo no es ordenarles hacer esto y lo otro, sino enseñarles. Remember to honor, honor them and follow their, your leaders as they follow Yeshua. Acuérdense de estimar y seguir a sus líderes así como ellos siguen a Yeshua. If they pull you away to Buddha or Confucius or some weirdness, stop following. Si los jalan a enfocarse en Buda, Blow the shofar, please. Blow the shofar. Remember those in prison because of marriage. We remember those who are our leaders. We remember those who teach us the word. How can I bless them? How can I favor them? How can I make their life easier? How can I bring joy into their life? In their dealings with me. How can I change to make their journey more joyous? How can I honor my leaders? Oh yeah, I told you I liked that verse. Second Peter chapter one. Segunda de Pedro capítulo uno. Second Peter chapter one. Not the attitude. Well, who do they think they are? They're not special. If I cook, why shouldn't they cook? I mean, isn't it right that it, yo yo chill? That's the attitude that is talking. De esa actitud estamos hablando. If I have to sleep, how come they don't have to sleep? Yes. It says, remember them with honor how you can bless them. Because they're giving you something better than food. They're giving you the word. The food will go out in the drought. The word takes root forever. La palabra toma raíz para the word siempre. takes root forever. La palabra toma raíz the word takes root forever. Para siempre. Se, se Bread of life. Para siempre. Lechem chayim. Lama tishkelu kesef. Belo lechem. They give you lechem chayim. Les dan lechem de chayim. Kifa bet. Chapter 1. I'm not going to read all 13 verses. Okay, 2 Peter chapter 1. 1 through 13. 
Let me, sum, let me summarize it. What kind of conduct becomes ¿Qué tipo de conducta es apropiado those growing in their emuna para que están en su on their way to the kingdom on earth? En al reino en la Listen carefully. Con Verses 1 through 13 is all about Se what kind of conduct is becoming ¿Qué tipo de es those who are growing in emuna para aquellos que están creciendo en Emuná and who will one day enter the kingdom in, in Yerushalayim y que algún día me entrarán en el reino de Yerushalayim en la nueva Yerushalayim and this, these verses are full of remembrance y estos versos están repletos de recordatorios see, in verse 12 it summarizes en el verso 12 lo resume all the things we are to remember todas las cosas Look, de las que nos tenemos que acordar I will not be negligent to put you in remembrance no dejaré de recordarles. Even though you know them, aunque ustedes conocen estas cosas, you know cosas, these things, conocen, conocen esto, but it's good to remember them pero es top ser recordado to be established para estar uno afirmado, confirmado in the present emet. En la emet presente. So the day of the season of remembrance entonces, en este tiempo de recordar, is for our de character and our behavior es para nuestro carácter, nuestro comportamiento, to be established para que se establezca, not just knowing the MS no solo conociendo la MS, but to be established. Pero al establecer, Can you know the MS and not be grounded in the MS? Puede uno conocer la MS y no afirmarse en la MS. You never show up, you never come to the feast, you never come to Shabbat, you're always checking things out instead of getting involved. You're, 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 you're not in the present MS. The MS is head knowledge, but we have to remember that Yahweh wants us to mature to a living emet. Yahweh wants us to mature to a living emet. So that the goal is not to know the truth, the goal is to be grounded and live in the present. The truth would become a, a present reality. Así que la, la, el enfoque es afirmarnos en la realidad del presente. Yohanan Gimel. Tercera de Juan Gimel. Yohanan Gimel. Third John. Tercera de Yohanan. Verse 10. Verso 10. Yohanan Gimel. Yohanan Gimel. Or Third John. Tercera de Juan. Verse 10. Verso 10. So, if I come, entonces si vengo, se solía Shaul, I will remember Diotrophes' deeds. Me acordaré de las obras de Diotrophes. De Diotrophes. Which he does. Las cuales él hace. Gossiping against us. Ooh, hablando en contra de nosotros. With Lashon Hara. Con Lashon Hara. Not content just with Lashon Hara and gossip. Y no contento con estas cosas nada más. Neither does he himself receive the Israelite brothers. Pero no recibe los fraternos israelitas. And forbids them. Y les prohíbe. That would. A los que sí. And cast them out of the congregation. Los recibirían y los echa fuera de la congregación. So this dude was throwing people out of the congregation. Así que este hombre estaba tirando a gente fuera de la congregación. But he didn't even have the authority. Pero ni siquiera tenía la autoridad. He was not one of the elders. No era uno de los ancianos. He was one of the problem makers. Era uno de los hacedores de problemas. The gossipers. De los chismos. The slanderers. Los parlotadores. Paul and John y a Pablo y a had the authority to throw people out. Tenía la autoridad de expulsar a personas. Deotrefes did not have that authority. No tenía esa so we are to remember Así que que to stay away de estar lejos from gossipers and slanders de las personas who hate que chismean, let's not personalize it. Mal. Let's not personalize it. No lo let's not make it about me. No lo hagamos de mí. Let's not make it about you. No lo hagamos de usted. They hate our ministry. Odian nuestro ministerio. They hate our ministry. I don't want to make it about me. No quiero hacerlo de mí. I don't want to make it about you. No quiero enfocarme en usted. They hate our ministry. Odian nuestro ministerio. They have a right to hate our ministry. Y tienen un derecho a odiar nuestro ministerio. Not really. Pero no en realidad. But let's give them that right. Pero debemos de ese derecho. But we should not listen. Pero no deberíamos de escuchar. We should distance ourselves. Deberíamos de distanciarnos. Remember to avoid. Acuérdense de evitar. And stay away from that. 
Blow the shofar, please. Shofar. to stay where you're planted. I'm going to say something and I'm not going to reveal any, any further information. Even though things are not perfect, we are to be established in the Emet. Not, the goal of the, of the believing life is not to know the Emet. La meta de la vida no es conocer la emet, but to be established pero establecernos with the leaders in the ministry Yahweh has assigned to Do you realize leaving the ministry or a ministry where Yahweh has planted you is a matter of life and death? You know that? Ustedes que el abandonar un ministerio en el cual Yahweh lo ha sembrado es cuestión de I'm going to say that again. Leaving a ministry where Yahweh has put you is a matter of life and death. Right. Over the years, and I'm, I don't say this in a spirit of joy, and Rivka can bear me witness, time after time someone would pick themselves up and leave the place of their, their, their planting. They would experience tragedy. I had an elder dead within two years. He fell in a hospital. After recovering, he just fell down. I had another elder die of cancer. They left the ministry because they were upset. Now, I'm not saying that I'm Superman and I'm special and that's why it happened. I'm not saying that. No estoy diciendo que yo sea el superhombre. Okay, que soy please, I'm not saying that. Y que por eso pasó por, no estoy diciéndolo por eso. What I'm saying is grow where you're planted. Lo que estoy diciendo es crezcan donde han sido sembrados. Yes, it's not perfect. Yes, people make problems. Sí, no es perfecto si la gente hace problemas. Yes, I'm not perfect, but just grow sí, where you're planted. No soy perfecto, pero crezcan donde han sido it's sembrados. It's too dangerous out there. Es demasiado peligroso allá afuera. It's just who knows who will wind up. And most recently, a man who was in this ministry. I'm not going to say it. I'm not, I'm not going to say it. Has gone into, into, into undescribable perversion. That's all I'm going to say. Jude 1.5. It's sad. It's very sad. Very, very sad. It's very sad. Yehuda chapter 1 verse 5. Yehuda 1.5. I will therefore put you in remembrance. Por lo tanto, los, uh, los recordaré, Though you once knew this. Una vez esto, how the Master Yahuwah having saved people out of the land of Mitzrayim. Destroyed them that gave up their belief. Después destruyó a los que no Let us blow the, Did we blow the shofar for the last one? No, right? Yes. For the avoiding gossip and slander. We yes. did. So he's saying in verse 5, Así que está aquí en el verso just because you, you are saved from Mitzrayim, the world, Solo han sido de Mitzrayim, it's el not mundo. if you started, no es que si it's how and if you finish the race. Sino que cómo y si es not que how you, just how you finish, but if you finish. Because those who started by the blood of the Passover lamb in Mitzrayim, porque aquellos que iniciaron a través del Adán, la sangre del Cordero Pascual en Egipto, still wound up destroyed. Siguieron, uh, acabaron siendo destruidos. So here's the key why we cannot lose faith. Y eso es, aquí viene la clave de por qué no podemos perder la fe. La It's emuna. not if you accepted Christ as your Savior. No es si uno aceptó no. a Cristo como su Redentor, no. That's the first step. Ese fue el primer paso. The goal is to be... Loving him and trusting him when you're 80, 90 and ready to meet him. La will meta. you still be running at the finish line? We, will we see you at the finish line? Oh, 
Ahí, cuando uno acabe en la línea de finalización de la carrera, encontrarse con el rostro de Yahshua. Everyone that doesn't make it to the finish line has died, destroyed, despite 35 years of keeping Pesach and Sukkot. Todos los que You're not listening. Abandonado la carrera a pesar de haber guardado su cote y la Pascua por 35 años. It doesn't matter how much you love Yeshua now. No importa cuánto aman a Yeshua hoy. It does. Sí importa. But the ultimate question. Pero la pregunta máxima. When you breathe your last breath. Cuando respiren su último respiro. What condition will your heart? En qué condición? Be it. Will it still be in love with the master? Or will it have grown cold through headaches? Pressure? Trials? Disappointment? Life is full of disappointments. Disappointments? Really? Deceptions? I didn't know it was the same word. Deceptions and disappointments are the same word. Cool. I didn't know that. What does that mean? That's either yes or no. Life has a lot of disappointments. La vida tiene muchas decepciones. When I got a hold of this, nobody's going to shake me from faith. Cuando yo me agarré There's not a man eso, or a woman that can shake me from faith. Nadie me puede sacudir de mi fe. Because can you imagine how many believe that I, my, our ministry has affected hundreds of lives over the years. That's a fact, right? That's a fact. Even my enemies tell them, tell me that but, but when they first met me, their, 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 their eyes were open. Even my enemies say that. I don't know why my enemies now. But it don't matter. All these services don't matter. No importa, todos estos servicios. Here's the question from Moshe Yosef Konechowski. Aquí viene la pregunta de Moshe Yosef Konechowski. The last day that the Creator gives you on earth. El último yom que Yahweh les dé sobre la tierra. What is the condition? En qué condición? Of your trust in Him. Va a estar su confianza en él. If I no longer believe in Him. Si yo ya no creo en él. And I'm now new age. Y yo ya estoy en la época nueva. Everything I did. Todo lo que yo hice was a waste of time. For my salvation. Maybe not for others. That's how serious it is. Not how you finish, but if you finish. Let us remember that not everybody who is washing the blood makes it into the new Yerushalayim. Blow the shofar. Blow the shofar. Beloved, remember the words spoken be before by the Shlichim of the Master, Yah Yeshua HaMashiach. Apreciados, acuérdense de las palabras que antes fueron dichas por los Shlichim, los apóstoles de nuestro soberano Yeshua el Mashiach. Earlier we were told to remember Messiah's words, now we're told to remember the Apostles' words. Anteriormente se nos dijo acordarnos de las palabras. Hoping they are the same as the Messiah's words. De Mashiach, y aquí se nos está pidiendo acordarnos de las palabras de los Shlichim. How they told you there would be laughers, mockers. In the Amim Acharonim. Who walk after their own wicked lusts. Que andan tras sus propios, uh, sus propias lujurias malvadas. Causing division, sensual, not having the ruach. Causando divisiones sensuales, no teniendo a la ruach. Let us blow the shofar to remember to avoid those. Sonemos el shofar para acordarnos de evitar a aquellas personas. Who sow division. Que siembran en la división. In our camp. En nuestro campamento. And who mock his ways. Que se burlan de sus caminos. And mock his apostles. Y se burlan de sus apóstoles. They mock and they laugh. Se burlan y se ríen. Let us remember to avoid them and or that behavior. Sound the shofar. Romans 11:18. Romans 11:18. Romanos 
Romanos 11, 18. Romilla. Boast not against the cultivated branches. No se jacten en contra de las ramas cultivadas. But if you boast against the Jewish people. Pero si se jactan en contra del pueblo yahudí. Whom you call Kaiser Rolls and, and Kaisaras and all that stupid nonsense. Quien, Get out of my face with that. Rollos de Kaiser. Israel is anybody redeemed by the blood of Yeshua. Israel That's Israel. Es cualquier persona redimida por la sangre de Yeshua. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. 18. If you boast against the Jewish people, you better remember that you do not bear the roots, but the Hebrew roots bear you. Let us blow the shofar to remember our Hebrew roots and our identity as Israel. Blow the shofar. Quickly. quickly. Ephesians 2 11. Ephesians 2 11. You think there's anything to remember? He doesn't tell us what to remember, but then he, oh my gosh, look at all these things we're supposed to remember. Therefore, remember, in this season of remembrance, that you being in times past Goyim, Gentiles, who are called uncircumcised by the Brit Milah, the circumcision. Remember that before Yeshua you were without Mashiach. Remember you were stuck most likely in the world or in church. Excluded. Being aliens. Uh, illegal immigrants from the commonwealth of Israel Gerim or from the covenants of promise having no tikva when without Eloha in Yolam Hazen strangers foreigners but now in Mashiach Yeshua you who are far off sometimes have been brought near by the dam of Mashiach Blow the shofar to remember that there are no, no such thing as a Gentile believer in the Messiah Yeshua. Blow the shofar to remember there's no such thing as a Gentile believer in the Messiah Yeshua. Like honest politician, <laughs> clean pig, <laughs> military intelligence, <laughs> holy father. Papa. I'm sorry, I have to get that in. One last shot. First Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians 1:3. And I'm sure, I'm sure he's a very nice man. How, how many know hell is full of nice people? Amen. They're just unredeemed. Yes? They're just unredeemed. First Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians 1.3 Remember without ceasing. I remember without ceasing. Your mitzvot. In the emunah. Your labor of ahavah. Your patience of tikva. In our Master Yeshua Mashiach. In the sight of Yahuwah, our only holy Abba. So, 
a vista de Yahweh, nuestro único abacador. We are to remember the goodness of our brothers. Así que tenemos que acordarnos de when they loved us. de nuestros fraternos cuando nos amaban. When they're patient with us. Cuando son pacientes con nosotros. When they care about us. Cuando cuidan de nosotros. We are to remember tenemos que acordarnos their mitzvot, esos mitzvot in our midst. En medio de nosotros. Blow the shofar. Suenen el shofar. Blow the shofar. <laughs> First Thessalonians 4:16 as we almost almost close. Primera de Tesalonicenses 4:16. First Thessalonians. Primera de Tesalonicenses. Sorry, wait a second. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. First Thessalonians 4:16. 4:16. Remember, this is the season of his return. Acuérdense que esta es la temporada de su retorno. The master himself will descend from the shamayim. El maestro mismo descenderá de los firmamentos. With a shout and the voice of the chief heavenly malach. Con el grito, la voz del arcángel. And with his shofar. El principal de los shamayim. Y con el shofar. And the tikkia gedola. La tikkia gedola. Of Yahuwah. And the dead in Mashiach will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain at his at his parousia, his return, his shuva, will be caught up together into the clouds. Not to heaven. There's no rapture. It's in the clouds. It's not into heaven. It's a different Greek word. It's not. It's iris. It's not cielos. We'll be caught up in the resurrection clouds. Not heaven. If it was a rapture, the word would say heaven. A las nubes de resurrección. To meet the master in heaven? No. To meet the master where? In the air. Aires. Dice, Buenos Aires. Nubes. No dicen los shamayim. En otras palabras, no en el, en, la, en el ámbito de Yahuwah, sino que aquí en esta, en esta atmósfera. And then we will ever be with our master. Y así oh, estaremos right. por siempre right. con nuestro soberano. So then, here comes the remember part. Por lo tanto, comfort one another by remembering this teaching. So when we lose hope, we get discouraged. How do we get encouraged? How do we comfort each other? By remembering with the sound of the shofar his definite return. Right. Not just soon return, his definite return. Blow the shofar. Blow the shofar. Thessalonica bet two five. Remember that when I was with you, I told you these things. That before Mashiach comes, First Thessalonians four sixteen. Anti Mashiach verse four comes. Until he is taken out of the way. Hasta ser del so remember Así que the coming of the end time beast de la de la and los the anti Mashiach, the Mashiach Neget, el Mashiach Neget, before the revelation of the true Mashiach. Antes de la del Real Mashiach. One comes before the other. Uno viene antes que el otro. Remember that. De Mashiach de... doesn't come. No viene out of a black hole. De un vacío. Remember what? De First comes Mashiach Neged. Primero viene Neged el Mashiach then comes Neged. Mashiach. El anti -Mashiach remember Neged. that. Viene el Real Mashiach. Blow the shofar. Suenen el shofar. And remember that pattern. Y <laughs> Tideus Beit. 
Segunda de Mateo. 2, 8. 2, 8. 2, 8 or not 2, 8? That's the question. No, I'm okay. kidding. 2 Timothy 2, 8. Segunda de Timoteo 2, 8. Oh, I, when I first read this, I wanted to strangle him. Cuando primero leí esto, quise ahorcar. I wanted to join the I hate Paul crowd. Quiero unirme a... Quise I, 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 I wanted to join the I buried Paul crowd. Al grupo de... Strawberry yo fields a forever. Yo quiero sepultar a Pablo. Remember that ridiculous marketing gimmick that the Beatles had? When you played the music backwards, I bury Paul. I wanted to bury Paul when I read this for the first time. But then the Ruach corrected me and said, no, you got it all wrong, son. Remember that Yeshua HaMashiach of the Zerah of David, the seed of David, La siguiente de David was raised, remember that he was raised from the dead. We remember that earlier in Luke 24, but here again, remember he was raised from the dead. Acuérdense que él fue resucitado de entre los muertos. Not only according to the gospel. No solo de acuerdo a el evangelio. Now all of a sudden it's my Bessera. Pero aquí de repente ya es mi evangelio. And remember I wrote that song. Y acuérdense que escribí esa entonación. Bessera Shelley. Bessera Shelley. Now I understand why I was wrong. Y hoy por qué yo because when you receive the good news of the Messiah came from the seed of David, and you receive Yeshua in your heart, y uno a en su corazón, it is no longer the Bessera. No es más el it is now my Bessera. Pero es mi my gospel. Because, because we internalize it. Isn't that beautiful? Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. Blow the shofar. As we remember. Shaul's gospel was the same as Yeshua's. Is that what we hear today? That's not what we hear today. Oh, Shaul had a different gospel. But according to 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 8, Yeshua, who was the Zera of David, Yeshua, quien era, eh, la Zera de David, who brought Israel the good news, Quien le trajo a Israel las alegres nuevas. Is the same Besara. Es el mismo evangelio. Of Shaliyah Shaul. El apóstol Shaul. Who blew the shofar. Sonamos el shofar. To remember. Para acordarnos. And to reject the lies. Remember. Remember mentiras. to reject the lies. Acuérdense rechazar las mentiras. That there is no difference. Que no hay diferencia. Between Yeshua's Besara. Entre el evangelio de Yeshua. And Besara Shali. Y Besara Shali. We have a song. Besara Shali. Yes? Ki Elohim et haolam shekol maminimbo. Right? That's Besora Shali. Okay. Timoteo's Bait. Chapter 2. Capítulo 2. And verse 14. Verse 14. Tov. 2.14. We're almost done. Of these things, de estas cosas, Shaliyah Shaul tells young Timoteo, put them, the believers, under your care in remembrance, Recuérdales. charging them before Yud Hei Vav Hei, that they do not stay on Facebook, Que no contiendan en Facebook. And Twitter. Y en Twitter. And Instagram. Y en Instagram. All blessed day long. Todo el yom. To engage themselves. Para meterse. In word battles. En batallas de palabras. 
You think the word is for today? You think this is an old ancient book that has no application for us today? How many days and nights did I waste away from my family spending my time arguing with people who didn't want to learn on Facebook? A man convinced against his own will is of the same opinion still. Let's say that again. A man convinced against his own will is of the same opinion still. Endless word battles that we engage in sin fin en las cuales nos involucramos are useless no tienen no tienen um, and we are actually sub subverting the hearers y en realidad estamos subvertiendo so, los oidores people want to hear the word la gente según quiere oír la palabra but they're getting perverted and subverted pero están recibiendo perversión y subversión under the unclean spirit of knowledge bajo el espíritu inmundo del conocimiento forever, forever learning and never coming to the truth para siempre aprendiendo y nunca llegando a la verdad so people who hunger for knowledge and not for his voice Así they're always dice, hungering and thirsting after knowledge not after righteousness listen tiene hambre de conocimiento y no de la rectitud wind up subverting acaban subvertiendo others a otros who tune in que se sintonizan to hear the word para oír la palabra and not endless debates. Y no right. sin fin. Why do you come here? Para que aquí. To hear people arguing and debating? Para a la gente y Because then the word is going to be subverted. La va a ser no. So do not engage in that. Remember Así que to avoid those worthless debates de esos sin and battles over words. Y sobre las Blow the shofar. El shofar. Blow the shofar. Giliana, and we close with this. Giliana, third close. Giliana, two four. Giliana, Revelación dos cuatro. And let us. This is a sober yet loving warning. Y esta es una palabra. As we sound our final, as we sound our final shofar, Revelation Giliana, two four. Nevertheless, Israel, believers in Scripture, I do hold something against you. See, when Yeshua has a problem, he talks about. it. He doesn't hide, he doesn't go into the room, lock the door, he deals with it. When Yeshua has an issue, he deals with it. And he talks to his people. He said, I want to talk to you. We don't run and hide, he doesn't run and hide from us. He says, I've got, we need to talk. I have something against you. My people, you've left your first love. And whenever in our ministry, in our lives, in our marriages, in our families, whenever we, we, we leave Yeshua, not totally, but at as our first love. We have fallen and can't get up. We have fallen and can't get up. We take that lifeline. What's that called? That life, life alert? Life alert? We sound the alarm. We sound that bell, that shofar. And we call out to Yeshua. De pedir ayuda y a Yeshua, that we fall and we cannot get up. Que nos hemos caído, no nos we are ready to make teshuva. To get rid of all the debating and, 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 and arguing over Greek words, Hebrew words, Aramaic words, blah, 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 blah. 
para deshacernos de todas las discusiones acerca de las palabras griegas, las palabras hebreas, bla, bla, bla. And do our, we're ready to perform our first mitzvah. Y estamos listos para hacer nuestro primer, mm, nuestra primera obra. And what is the first mitzvah? ¿Y cuál es la primera obra? The, the hafta Yahuwah Elohecha. De amar a Yahuwah nuestro Elohim. De cholevavcha. De todo nuestro corazón. De todo nuestro ser. De con todas nuestras fuerzas. De hayu elad varim. And you know the rest. Y que ya conocen el resto. You shall love Yahuwah with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amarán a Yahuwah de todo su corazón, ser mente y fuerzas. We are ready to, we fall and we can't get up, we're ready to make Teshuvah. We remember he loves us, he'll always take us back. If we don't remember to always return to our first love, he will remove us, he will remove the menorah of any congregation or any person, he will remove their light, he will remove their menorah, Unless we as individuals and as a community make Teshuvah. So much for eternal security. Let us sound one final Tekiyah Gedola. That wait, 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 wait. That when we fall, by leaving our first love and getting caught up in sidetracked in side issues that we would be quick to sound a life alert make Teshuvah and return to our first love sound, sound the shofar Tikiya Gedola